So I am standing in a beautiful garden at uh, OSU and I'm here with Gail. And what is your title, Gail? I am the statewide coordinator of the OSU Extension Master Gardener Program in Oregon. Well, and you, you have a lot of other titles too that you actually carry, but that's the one we're gonna be dealing with today because we're, we're gonna be talking about spiders. Now, at this time of year, it seems like if you don't have either a cane or a bamboo stick or something, when you walk out through your yard, you walk into spider webs. <laughs> right, absolutely. There are a lot of spiders out there this time of year. Um, a couple of reasons for that is this is the time of year when we get a lot of fruits and a lot oh. of berries uh, being produced and those things when they start to ripen attract a lot of flies and flies attract spiders. Well, there you go. We also have a lot of flowers that are in bloom this time of year that attract a lot of bees and a lot of flies and those things attract uh, spiders as well. Well you know that I don't know that makes so much sense to me, and I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but of course it would be all of those things. It's not that the spiders are attracted to those, they're attracted to what those things bring in. Absolutely. And this time of year, I also have to say that a lot of spiders are actually looking for a mate, uh, and the way that a spider finds a mate is they really have to be on the move and, and move around <laughs> to find somebody who they're um, compatible with. Which really isn't with. that different than humans when you think <laughs> about it. Not that much, not that much. So now, most of us, and I'll, I'll include me in this, we really... They intimidate us. Spiders kind of scare us. They give us the creeps. Sure. But really very few in our area are harmful at all to us, are they? Absolutely. And if anything, spiders are actually beneficial, particularly for home gardeners and people who like to grow flowers, people who like to grow their own food. Uh, spiders really help to keep insect pests down because they eat a lot of insect pests and they reduce our reliance on chemical pesticides. And really, if you're, if you're using a lot of, of chemicals, you're it would kill the spiders too. It's not selective generally on what it kills. Right, I would say that the most popular pesticides on the market today are uh, broad spectrum. Yeah. They don't discriminate. They kill not only insect pests, but they're going to kill the good things as well, including spiders. And I would think, you correct me if I'm wrong here, but I would think that a really healthy ecosystem in a garden would have spiders, wouldn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I, I don't like that, but it's... Right. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of a spider person, so I like that. But I always try to tell people if they want in, if they want a garden that's free of insects, what they're getting is basically a biological dead zone. Yes. So when you have a garden that's full of flowers, it's full of insects, it's full of spiders, it's full of life, which is what we all want as gardeners. Well, now I have two here in my hands. Tell me what, what this one is. It's really beautiful. Um, so this one is a type of funnel weaving spider. Um, they tend to be a little bit larger than many other spiders that you find in the garden, and so people find them intimidating, uh, but they do hunt with a web. They build a web, and when flies and other things fly into it, that's how they feed. So this is the one where I've seen where there's like actually a little tunnel in the web, right? Absolutely. Nice. And what about this little creature here? Uh, so this is a type of common orb weaving spider, and the orb weaving spider builds a spider web that is uh, what we mostly think of when we think of a spider the web. traditional kind. Right, round with spokes emanating from the center and they also use that web to hunt. And just as a guess, if, unless you know exactly, how many different types of spiders are in the, the Portland, Vancouver area? Even? Oh, I just looked this up. Um, so how many different types of spiders are in the Pacific Northwest? I would say that we have hundreds, maybe questing wow. to uh, close to a thousand, but wow. really not that many species, especially it's, when we compare them to insect diversity. That is true. That is true. So they really do a great service for any garden, don't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. Well, I, I still have some issues myself with spiders, but if you're like me, you know, realize the value of them because they really do us a great, mm -hmm. great service, even if they have set us and scare us a little bit. For more information on all these great little insect creatures, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the website, find out more, or maybe even take a class yourself and really get the information. That would be great. Thank you so much, Thank Gail. you.